sorry I had to yawn. So I guess technically since it's after midnight, it's like 1.30 in the morning on December 2nd, 2016, in case you didn't know what year it was. Um, so yesterday me and my family went and we went to an actual nursery and pick out an actual real tree for the first time. Um, the whole house smells like beautiful pine. Oh my goodness, it smells like beautiful Yule time and Christmas time. And it was so fun and so awesome. Um, and our tree looks dope. But so far we haven't decorated it yet because we were going to decorate it last, technically, last night a few hours ago. But we realized we didn't buy an extension cord and we accidentally didn't buy enough lights for this tree because this tree is fat and big. So we have to go back to Target tomorrow to get more lights and an extension cord um, and probably some stuff to help us start um, wrapping gifts. I'm sorry, I haven't slept in like almost 48 hours. Legit. But I did pick up a few things at Target that weren't Christmas related. So let me separate them into two different grapes. So I got, this is, all this stuff is parts of a DIY experiment I'm going to do later on today um, for you guys in a video. So I got a pack of two mason jars for only three bucks. Where's the price? Three bucks for two normal sized mason bars. Bars? You're welcome. Mason jars. So yeah, definitely. And then I got some purple glitter glue. Um, I think this was $2.99, I think. And I got some food coloring, which was, I think, $4.99. So I'm really hoping that this experiment works. Um, I've been doing a lot of research on it and doing a lot of studying on it. And if it does work, the second one is going to go to my sister because she wanted to have one of these as well. So I will, you guys will see later on if this whole thing works. Okay, so I just remembered. I did this last year for my friends who have kids or my friends who, like me, never really grew up. Um, I have Santa's legit phone number in my phone which I will give to you right now. So if you have kids or you just want to do it yourself, it's really cute. First, I've had this Christmas Countdown to Christmas app for a very long time. So 22 days, it's coming too soon. And when you open the presents, they give you a daily quote. I'm not gonna read it right now. And they give you a yes. Okay. Let's do this. Let's call him. All right. I'll go and speak. <laughs> Merry Christmas! This is Santa Claus. Told you. And you have reached my personal hotline. We have been very busy making all of those toys to deliver on Christmas morning. And I want you to know that your family loves you very much. And so do I. So be good, and don't forget to always listen to your parents. When you hear the tone, please leave me your Christmas gift wishes and holiday cheer. And remember, kids, I know who's been naughty and nice. Merry Christmas, and I'll <laughs> see you soon. <laughs> oh, I never left a voicemail before. I love you, Santa. I effing love you. So if you want to go and head and call it, why is this not focusing? Okay, it's the number is 951-262-3062. I'll leave it in the description box below too. Um, and it's free, totally. So you're not gonna like it. Well, wow, long distance calls up now. Oh, God, I need sleep. You know what? I can feel you all judging me, so I'm gonna prove to you how good of a Jew I really am. All right, let's see. I am gonna eat a Whole Foods potato locker. 
and you don't get much more Jewish than potato latkes. Okay, so this is going to be the Hanukkah corner. It's in the foyer of our house. So we have our Hanukkah bush, which I got to put together. Michael actually gave this to me and my family as our Hanukkah bush three years ago. And this menorah was so generously given by my best friend Josh's mom, Mommy Linda. I think I already said this in my vlogs giving vlog, but um, we put some Chanaka candles in there. It's not Hanukkah till the 24th this year. And we have a dreidel right here. So yeah, I'm not a Jew, <laughs> me. The whole entire house, the upstairs, the basement, down here, everything smells like pine. I love it so much, it's so beautiful. And oh, let me show you. There is the blizzard going on. I'm so happy. My mom's at Target though, so I'm just like, and she says it's even worse by her, so I'm a little worried about her, so. And yes, my pumpkin is still there. <laughs> So my sister and I are about to go and try to do, make our very own DIY anti-stress, anti-anxiety slash calming glitter jars. So we got all the ingredients. We did so much hella research and we spent so much hella this thing for this. So I'm really hoping that these work. And if they do, I would love to make them for all of you and for other people. So let's try to do this. Okay, so my sister is gonna be making a blue one and I'm making a purple one. So this one is my jar, that one is hers, and we got Audi ingredients. So we got some standard mason jars, um, but since these don't have the tops like normal mason jars do, and you're supposed to seal it, seal it. You're supposed to seal it shut really tight, so I bought some of the glue down because that stuff works on everything. So we got some food coloring, which we're only using less than a drop of. We have glitter, we have one in gold, the one my sister is gonna be using, and red right here then we got these specialty glitters which we're gonna put some stuff in and glitter glue so let's try to see if this works
also going through boxes and I found our candy cane ornaments. Obviously, this one's my father's. This one's my sister's because she's very special. She's my special pepper, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got a mouthful of food. So we got my mom's. It says most love mom. And whose name is that? I don't know, but it's mine. Ah, what? Oh my f So I got a package today in my kind of P.O. box thing from my subscriber and dear friend Brittany once again um I just crossed out her addresses so she don't have to have that out there but she put hello kitty things on there and guys like what the actual oh my god so I just want to quickly go through everything she sent me um so she actually hand makes these these are stash jars I'm probably not going to use it for my stash but I'm going to definitely definitely get use out of this probably put my bobby pins or something in that so she hand painted all these little girls on here all these unique little girls on here and some eyeballs and there's some stickers that says creep in it real and there's just these all these beads everywhere that has a K on top of it and it is a plastic stash jar and she says that these um, I believe does do not give off a smell so that is good and she put a little Hello Kitty note in here oh uh, I just this is so adorable and like everybody in my family is in love with it so that was just the first thing she sent me and she said that this was a small package girl do you not know what a small package is? That's like a card and like some candy. Let me show you what she got. This is what she got, what she made herself. Okay, I know this is a cardboard box, but um, screw it, I'm keeping it because this is everything right now. We've got Marilyn. We've got the strong woman, we can do it sticker. We've got cute little stickers with bubble gums and everything and caution tape. Like, why? Why? What did I ever do to deserve this? <laughs> so, and some washabi tape. And we got a blaze right there. And in the box, look at that. She drew a picture of Tank Girl. And, uh, cause we bonded over that movie and ah oh, it's such an amazing drawing she is an amazing artist she does have an etsy shop where she does do um the handmade um stash jars and distressed t-shirts and stuff like that i will leave her name in this video and in the description box below because i, I can't tell you it right now because bitch you still haven't answered me <laughs> when i say bitch i mean bae um, you have not answered me. I need the name of your shop. So, let's go through what she sent me. First, we have this adorable leopard little pouch that will definitely be going on my purse. And inside is this all-natural lip balm that everybody knows I'm wearing lip balm right now. I mean, I can't go a second without wearing it or else shit gets real so this is lip rescue non-gmo ultra hydrating with shea butter i love that so that's the first thing in the box and she did send me a little tiny note in this door i'm not throwing anything away i don't care it does say my real name on there so you guys know my real name most of you so it says you can open this on camera and she's also making me a distressed t-shirt like stop it stop it you're spoiling me so she sent me these Look at these! I think I guess they're little donuts, like little donut sticky notes. So freaking cute! Uh, she sent me a Hello Kitty little notepad, little notebook. So cute! So cute! Oh. She sent me another. Well, this is kind of like Hello Kitty sticky notes. So I always need sticky notes because I'm constantly needing to write down random stuff that I'm never gonna remember. She got me this belated Halloween card. Okay. The stickers on these, these are stickers, but look at how thick they are. 
They feel like magnets. Not only are they gorgeous, I'm totally, like I said, I'm not throwing any of these away and I'm totally keeping all those stickers. So she wrote out a whole lot of, and even on the back. So, um, I mean, come on. And I won't go through that because some of it's personal, so it's all good. Now, what's funny is when I went to the dollar store, I picked up this same one in purple and I realized I have a cell phone that is the iPhone 6S and this, I got the 6S Plus thing for this. Um, and she made that mistake, but here's the thing. It's not really a mistake <laughs> because I now use these as, as makeup, like foundation, um, mixing trays. So yeah, I can definitely, that, that will get use out of it. She gave me this handmade bracelet, which I'm going to put on now. It's like faux pearls and black beads, which is perfect. And this beautiful vintage renaissance medieval kind of looking flower red flower ring would you focus please please focus on the flower focus on the flower no you're just you're just gonna not focus all right be that way anyway so yeah totally cute oh i love vintage stuff you guys know that um and there was a little random little like look at how cute there was just a little random piece of paper here and one of these were for me and one of these were for my mother so i let my mother pick out which one she was gonna have <sighs> bam she got two different 200 plus stickers of our favorite wrestlers like look at this all right this one is mine because i let my mom choose which one she was gonna be by the way alas my man so, um, bitches be backing off. Dean Ambrose, I'm putting that right on my vagina. What? Anyway, let's pretend that didn't happen because I didn't mean to say that. And my mother's going to kill me for saying that. So we've got some of their logos on. I mean, and look at this. <laughs> There's literally, literally over a hundred of these little stickers. of like all these. I just wish they would have some of the females, but bitch I don't care so this one is the one my mom picked out my mother is so excited and so stoked except she hates Bray Wyatt so <laughs> but she loves her stuff oh my god see just like and the same thing in this one so how who, how was this a small package so once again I wanted to just give a huge thanks to Brittany you didn't have to do all of this and know that this is not going unappreciated and I cannot wait to see your reaction when you get your holiday gift um, from both me and my mother and hell my whole family because you know we love I love my blazers my family loves my blazers and my friends you know so when I love somebody they do too um I, again all my information if you ever want to just send me a card or a handwritten letter that stuff makes my day so much brighter so all my information is down below in the description box but don't ever 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 feel obligated to send me anything i know a lot of youtubers say that but i am absolutely mad serious never send me anything i i, I actually don't really like things being purchased for me because it makes me kind of like oh my goodness it, i don't know it makes me a little uncomfortable but if you want to that's awesome i would never turn it down but like handmade beautiful intricate stuff like this come on this is i love look at this so so pretty so if you guys have any other ideas i can use this uh little stash box for let me know down in the comments because i'd like to hear what you guys would think to use this for and once again a huge thank you to Brittany. you are an amazing person and i love you I'm gonna put my first one on the brush since he's the one who gave us this tree.